just punched myself in the face. <laughs> I'm just outside Hemel Hempstead at Drift Limits because in this video I'm going to be driving an aerial Atom as well as doing some sideways driving for the very first time. Fasten your seatbelts and get ready for a bit of a wild ride. Let's go. Thank you for clicking the like button. Your supermodel is now in the post. Normally, Drift Limits do a whole host of things from supercar driving experiences, drifting, stunt driving, junior driving and even police pursuits. But today was different, it was a filthy influencer event with lots of successful car influencers and a weird bold sim racing YouTuber that doesn't even have a driving license. And of course if you're gonna drive a rear wheel drive car for the very first time in your life, the obvious thing to do is to jump into an aerial atom. So off I went to traumatise a friendly Drift Limits instructor, and right away we almost collected the front end of an Audi R8 S3. Great start, good job. Right, as joining the track here, I've slowed this right down so you can appreciate this pure sim racer to real driving moment. And uh, that is, I normally sim race in socks. So I normally can feel where my brake and the accelerator is and clutches through my, through my socks. And I'm used to the various pedals on the market and just how you normally have your pedals with various things. This car, like many cars, had its pedals slightly spaced slightly different to what I was used to. And because I was wearing shoes, I, I couldn't actually tell which pedals my feet were on. So... Thanks to the Momo pedal check windows in the bottom of the steering wheel, <laughs> I was able to duck down and uh, have a quick little gander there and just double check that my right foot was indeed properly on the accelerator. It was. And then double check that my left foot was indeed on the brake. And there you go. I'll move it across. That's it. We're, we're secure now. With that said, we were ready to go. Now, I'm going to play this in real time and you'll see how I Darren Brown this pedal check so quickly the instructor didn't notice because if he did he probably would have pulled over straight away now you can see here that the tires are cold and the car's quite slippy because we're only doing like i don't know 50 miles an hour and it's stepping out but straight away you just use your sim racing counter steer knowledge and you're good to go fantastic Now I've slowed this down because you might have missed it, but if you look closely, you can see that I've stabbed the accelerator pedal like Jack the Ripper on a night out, and I've turned the steering wheel slower than a drunken sailor. As a result, there we are, we're now driving backwards through the track, and also putting lots of little pebbles into the tyres, which I thought was nice, it's quite interesting how they stuck to the wheels. Really good experience. But I was told by the driving instructor at that point that it's a suboptimal way of driving and I need to be a bit more careful. So I took that on board and skillfully managed to flick a pebble onto the dash right in front of us and into the cockpit. What a, what a pro. Rocket League paying off there. But there we go. Onto the straight and away we go. It's a really small track, so only a couple of corners, which means that you can jump on it and you know what's coming up straight away after just doing one or two laps. But here we go. So we had a chance here to get more on the throttle and appreciate a bit of the acceleration of the Atom. And that was really nice. Just how, how it lights up and goes quickly. We're only in like third or fourth gear. I'm definitely being a bit timid here. We don't want to mow the lawn. This car obviously has way, way, way more to give. I mean, I'm not even understeering through these corners. We're just, we're just pulling along. It's a bit of a game of muscle. Tesco's car park drive but as we come through here and we get round to the corner that nipped us in the bottom last time we get there and this time a little bit of a catch there it, you know it wasn't it wasn't a James Bond stunt drive catch but at least we didn't spin around that time I was happy with that first ever bit of oversteer catch subtle but good enough 
And I think after that initial spin and a couple of those little corrections, you can really dial it in to go, oh, that, that amount of G-forces and that seat of the pants feel means, oh, this, this amount of counter steer. Very, very similar to driving simulators. And if you look here on this corner, when you turn in, you can see I induce a bit of oversteer there with a little bit of correction to it. It is exactly like Race Room and Assetto Corsa in particular, the force feedback in those games where you get a really good G-load type force feedback. Absolutely superb. And I, I was really, I'm really blown away having driven real cars now, how close they are to the simulators. I mean, this, you know, it's just a very expensive simulator with a bit more, with a bit better motion. This is great coming down here. Look, appreciate the grass. Look at the grass going past. Beautiful. And then all the brakes there. Little bit squirrely as you stamp on the brake and tiny little bit of correction. Some of that also just the car correcting it, like what you get with the direct driver with your simulator. Pure DD Gill cat steering going on. A little bit over the top. I need to calm things down a bit. Drone flying over the top. And here we go. A bit more power. Turning it in a bit more. And we get a little bit over ambitious. And we go counter steer and then hand of God appears <laughs> from the side. This is what we all need in driving simulators here. If you're using steering assist, a hand should literally just grab onto the wheel. And, and then everyone would know you're using steering assist. Poor, poor instructor here. Literally, I mean, after our initial spin and uh, somewhat erratic driving, I think, I think he was... Uh, by this point, having a bit of a panic attack, his, his smartwatch has registered his fastest ever heartbeat. So really, he should thank me. I've uh, given him a free bit of exercise. I'm so generous and thoughtful. But, you know, I think it was a good catch, even if we utilised the hand of God. It was certainly very exciting, and uh, even if he didn't enjoy it, I, I really did. Coming to the end of the final lap, when I look to the left, you can see the instructor gripping onto the frame of the aerial atom there's now bent that's just bent into the shape of his hand which actually has made the car more comfortable for him for the rest of the year again what a generous guy i am and the drone there decides to race us here we go game of muscle and atom versus drone get on the power through the countryside off we go slam on the brakes look at that wheel vibrate pure dd and the drone Flying over the top and past us, the drone beat us on the final corner. We could take a better line and then brush off the speed over the car park. Okay, guys, so I've just jumped out of the aerial atom and oh my God, it was so good. So good. Ah, oh, man, just so responsive. I mean, the, the brake pedal and the throttle were a bit dangly and loose. Nowhere near as good as your sort of simulator brake and throttle pedals. But once I sort of dialed myself into like the G-force feel of the car, and uh, you know we had that initial spin because i just had no expectation as to how much grip there was and it was quite slippy at first but the grip built up straight away oh man it, it just made me want to get another one i want to do some more laps even faster really nice once you pick up speed and uh also really nice how much the car just turns in and the back wanted to come out just when you come off the accelerator immediately the back wants to come out um but you can counter steer it quite nicely once we got going there i had the instructor grabbing onto the steering wheel a few times <laughs> a bit of a heart attack but uh, oh man just uh, I want to take it out to a full-size track and absolutely cane one of those around and go around the skid pan with it as well and get a feel for like actually sliding it and, and practice it on the limit try and hold some more slides awesome I was then given the opportunity to have a passenger ride in an Audi R8 S3 with one of their driving instructors the only thing was, is that I was to be rating the driver instructor so Drift Limits knew who they should keep employed and who they should sack. Obviously, I did the most responsible thing and tried to put off my driver as much as possible with some 1960s style commentary. Here we go for the first lap. <laughs> and he's come through the corner, a little bit of slip there, he runs right, takes it in the cone already on the floor, he goes into it flat out, holding the line, aerial atom was sideways, but it's not there anymore as he goes wide, takes a tighter line, cone just missed on the inside, a bit of front end slip as he did run it through, coming around the outside, holding down the power, comes off, bit of oversteer, bit of understeer, more understeer, gets on the throttle, balances it, back on the brakes, and he comes into the tight left tight right and he's in oh look at that correction counter steer is one wide that's going to be some points deducted now he gets flat out onto the gas and he comes to the finish of the lap and here's the break point absolutely superb driving from the instructor incredible stuff that was insane that was, that was so cool so, oh my god there we go that was the uh <laughs> instructor driving there 
Thank you very much. Uh, Thank you. Have I got to give you a score out of what? What's uh, the score? Out of 100. Uh, I'm going to give you, because you missed the aerial atom, I'm just going to give you, <laughs> well, I should give you like 90. Five. Ninety five. I'm Tell you what, 95. if you say my score was a hundred on the other one, I'll <laughs> yeah, give we'll you a we'll yeah, there thing, we go. Yeah. That's the winning. Well, thanks for giving me the drive there. <laughs> Cheers man. Cheers again. Election rigged, it was then time to do some wet track drifting with a locked rear diff Nissan. Unfortunately, my helmet camera was in a terrible position, as you will now see. I just punched myself in the face. <laughs> A bit more gas. More gas. A bit more gas. Back on the gas. Back on the gas. <laughs> so fun. <laughs> Just got out of the Nissan drift car and it was amazing fun. Just going around on the wet track that was just so totally ridiculously slippy. A little, little tickle on the throttle pedal and the rear just wanted to go straight around. And then trying to actually work out how much to turn the steering uh, to actually catch it and how aggressive to be with stuff and how smooth to be was just a really, really fun challenge. After about three or so laps, I felt like I was starting, starting to get a loose idea of what I needed to do to catch it, but definitely, I am terrible at drifting, <laughs> absolutely awful. I, I think I need a good sort of half hour of practice to hook up the steering wheel feel with the G-force feel. With the track being wet, there really wasn't that much G-force feel until right at the limit moment of it gonna spin around and uh, it was just very tricky, but something I really wanna do again. And I really, I really wanna try doing the drifting on a dry track and compare that with the wet track. Um, and also maybe with a different car as well, but still amazing fun. Someone's left a TVR with the ignition in unattended. The temptation to steal it is great, but I won't because Drift Limits were kind enough to invite me. Stealing their vehicles probably wouldn't go too, down too well. <laughs> but what an absolutely amazing day at Drift Limits, driving an aerial Atom, drifting on a wet track in a Nissan. Oh my God, so good. Amazing experience, highly worth checking out if you're in this area. As I say, it's just outside of Hemel Hempstead. Massively appreciate them inviting me. Um, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video and uh, you know, Gamer Muscle needs to learn how to drive. I need to learn how to drift, I'm <laughs> so bad at drifting. Gamer Muscle needs to learn how to drift. I think the driving's okay, but not the drifting. Oh man, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, click that like button, subscribe to the channel, bang the bell, but until the next one guys, happy tea drinking and goodbye everyone. <laughs>